Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. How many of these puzzles can you solve? Puzzle one. There's a rectangular field with two boxes labeled A, two boxes labeled B, and two boxes labeled C. Your challenge is to connect pairs of letters with lines. The lines cannot cross each other, and you must stay inside the green box. So at first, this seems impossible. If you connect the two boxes labeled A, that will create a barrier so you won't be able to connect the two boxes labeled B or the two boxes labeled C. So obviously, we need a different way to connect the two boxes labeled A. So let's try an approach where we go around the box B and we connect the two boxes labeled A. Now we can obviously connect the two boxes labeled B, but we now have a problem. We cannot connect the two boxes labeled C because there will be a barrier between them. So we can get around this problem by doing one more rerouting. Let's go around the box B and around the box C. We can now obviously connect the two boxes labeled B and we can connect the two boxes labeled C. So this is one way to solve the problem. You could also go around the other way. So you could connect the boxes with A by first going around C and then B, and then it will be easy to connect the boxes labeled B and the boxes labeled C. So these are two ways to solve this puzzle. Puzzle two. We have a coin and then we have two coins and then three coins and four coins. So notice we have one, two, three, and four coins in a row. Here's the challenge. You need to move just one coin to reverse the order. That means we want four coins on the left, then three coins next to it, then two coins next to it, and finally one coin on the right. At first, this seems impossible. How can you move one coin to reverse the order? So let's imagine how this could look in the solution. So let's take these coins and let's imagine rotating it about itself. So we have the mirror image. We now have four coins, three coins, two coins, and one coin. And now let's see how the coins line up. Starting from the left, we just need to insert one coin over here. And on the far right, we need to remove one coin. So now the solution is obvious. We take the second coin from the far right, and we simply move it all the way to be the second coin from the left. And now we have four coins, followed by three coins, followed by two coins, followed by one coin. What an incredible solution. Puzzle three. Here's a four by four grid. Fill up coins in the first row and in the first column of the second and third rows. The challenge is to move just one coin to form two lines of four coins. Once again, this puzzle seems like it's impossible. Imagine we have one line of coins in the first row and we have one line of coins in the first column and we're going to reuse the upper left coin. So even when we do that, these two lines will cross seven squares, but we only have six coins. So it will be impossible to solve the problem unless we think outside the box. The key is to take this coin from the first row and move it on top of the very first coin in the upper left hand corner. Let's now see what we have. In the first row, we of course have a line and this line contains four coins. And in the first column, we also have another line and we can see that it crosses four coins. So this is the amazing solution to move one coin to form two lines of four coins. Puzzle four. We have an equation written with matchsticks. Five plus seven is equal to two. The challenge is to move just one matchstick to make the equation true. So there could be many ways to solve it, but here is the classic solution. Take the vertical matchstick for the plus sign and add it to the five 
so that we make the number 9. We now have the true equation that 9 minus 7 is equal to 2. So at first I thought this was the only way to solve the problem, but some people suggested another way to solve the problem. Take this same plus sign and take the vertical matchstick and move it all the way to be a negative sign on the 2. So we now have the equation that 5 minus 7 is equal to minus 2. If you accept that the minus sign is written in an unusual way, this is a true equation. Are there any more ways to solve this puzzle? Puzzle 5. We have a house made up of matchsticks and there is a coin outside the house. The challenge is to move three matchsticks so the coin is inside a house. The resulting shape must be the same shape as the original house. And of course, you cannot move the coin. So at first, this seems very difficult, if not impossible. But let's see how we can work it out. Let's imagine we take the shape of this house and we try to overlay it over some of the existing matchsticks. We are starting with a total of five matchsticks and we can only move three of them. So let's see if we keep some of the matchsticks in the same place. So here's one possible position. We now have overlaid one of the matchsticks, but then we will need to move four of the matchsticks to get this coin inside the house. But this is not a solution because we're only allowed to move three of the matchsticks. If we overlay this matchstick, we still have the coin inside the house, but once again, we have to move four matchsticks for that. So let's try one more position. And amazingly, we have found a solution. We only need to move three of the matchsticks and the coin is inside the house. So let's go ahead and implement this solution. We need to move this matchstick and rotate it so it's the base of the house. We then take this matchstick to be the other wall of the house. And finally, we take this matchstick and turn it into the roof. So we now have a coin that's inside of the house and we've only moved three matchsticks. Wonderful. Puzzle six. We have a square and we have nine prisoners inside the square arranged in a three by three grid. The challenge is to draw two squares to isolate each person. So let's get started by imagining we have a one by one square. We can draw two squares, so let's see if we draw two squares of this size. We are only going to be able to isolate a couple of people. Now what if we had a two by two square? Well, if we do this, we can get a little bit creative and we might be able to isolate one person in the center, but still the other people are not all isolated. The person in the center is isolated as are two people in the corners, but the other people are not isolated. So no matter how we move around these squares, we're not going to be able to isolate every single person. So we're going to have to think a little more cleverly. Let's start out with the boundary square. Notice that if we scale and rotate it, we'll be able to isolate the four people in the four corners. So let's go ahead and do that. With one square, we are able to isolate the four people in the four corners. But now this red square is another square. So imagine we take that square and we isolate the four people in that square. So if we scale and rotate this square, we will end up isolating the four people in those corners and we have isolated the person in the center. So we now have a solution where we have used two squares to isolate each of the nine people. Amazing. In this particular solution, both of the red squares are inside of the boundary square. But let's see if there's another solution where we are outside of this square because of course we're looking for outside the box solutions. So let's take this boundary square and let's rotate and scale it so that we isolate the two people in the upper left and the lower left corner. Let's make exactly the same size square and let's isolate the two people in the upper right and lower right corners. And amazingly, we have another solution. This is another way to draw two squares to isolate each of the nine people. Wow. 
Puzzle 7. Here's the classic nine dots puzzle. You have to connect all nine dots in this three by three grid without lifting your pen. You're allowed to draw up to four lines. So how do you solve it? So most of you have probably seen this puzzle. If you try to draw four lines without lifting your pen, you're going to end up connecting eight of the dots, but you will have one that's missing. So the wonderful solution is to think outside the box. You are not limited to this box where the three by three grid is. You can draw outside of that. So let's take this first line and we will draw it beyond this bottom dot. We will then connect these two dots diagonally. We will go back to the beginning dot. And finally, we can draw one diagonal line, which will connect all of the remaining dots. So this is the classic outside the box solution with four straight lines. But there are other clever ways to solve this problem too. If the dots have some sort of thickness, you can solve this problem with just three lines in a zigzag pattern. Connect the top three dots with one line, then zigzag back to connect the next three dots, and finally zigzag back to connect the bottom three dots. You could solve it in three lines, but why stop there? You could, of course, solve it with just one very thick marker, which will connect all nine of the dots. And as long as we're thinking outside the box, you could imagine these nine dots are on a piece of paper because you're supposed to connect them without lifting your pen off the paper. So you could roll up the paper into a cylinder and then you could just use one line that goes through all nine of these dots if you go around the piece of paper. So this is another creative way to solve the problem and you just need to draw one line. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.